my seizures are very complicated, or have been. Had them since I was three. The ones I remember mostly from early back then are partial seizures. Mm -hmm. Then they changed into full body seizures that mostly happened at night. But we went through an entire litany of medicines trying to get rid of them. It was definitely affecting uh, his quality of life. Uh, it is always uh, difficult for patients with seizures to have uh, gainful uh, employment that is that can be sustained for a long time. And of course, uh, with every seizure, there are risks of injury uh, uh, because the patient is unconscious uh, and sometimes they even have uh, violent shaking and movements of their uh, whole body. Early on, um, he never had all that many. It would be one every couple of weeks, two or three weeks, four weeks maybe. And then as the nature of the seizures changed, as he got older, um, they became more frequent. Um, and then uh, we would try a new medicine and they would go away for a month or maybe two at the most. I think that was the most any of them ever went away. He tried numerous medications but did not achieve seizure freedom. Uh, and also, he was not a candidate for some other options such as epilepsy surgery, uh, RNS, which can be offered to some patients who have refractory epilepsy. Uh, therefore, we chose to use the deep brain stimulator on him. Deep brain stimulation is the good option or, or best option for patients when seizures come from different parts of the brain. So we just saw first patient, Mr. Howell, he's doing well, it's, it's four weeks after surgery. Also, I'm, I'm very happy we have all important tools to make this surgery successful. We have a ro robotic assistant, we have a special guiding tubes, and we place the battery, implant the battery below the collarbone. So, and those wires connect to those contacts implanted in the brain and the whole system is hooked up and then and we, we can start stimulating. It's an exciting time uh, because we are the only level four comprehensive epilepsy center in the state of Arkansas. Uh, we are able to provide uh, the latest and most sophisticated uh, treatment modalities to our patients. We have epileptologists here that specialize obviously in epilepsy. We have an epilepsy surgeon. Some patients um, can have their epilepsy abs can actually be cured. And that's very humbling to be a part of that, to know that you can make such a difference in somebody's life. So this is, as you can see, this is a reconstructed 3D picture from MRI that patient just got done. You can see it, small lumps. That's where electrodes go in, dive in, inside, inside the brain. And if I change contrast, you can remove the skin, you can remove muscles and the bone, and you can see those areas where electrodes are going in the brain. This is highly precise surgery in, in terms of replacing electrodes in the brain in a very, very small area called thalamus, and particular part of the thalamus called anterior nucleus. So it's very, very tight target and it's deep in the brain. So that's why we need the high precision equipment which we have in operating room, and specifically robotic assistant, intraoperative CAT scan, so we can always do CAT scan during the surgery and then verify where electrodes are, are placed. We increase the stimulation in uh, steps. So usually uh, in about two months or so, we should start to see response. Uh, with all these neuromodulatory devices, the longer the patient has the device, the better is the seizure uh, response. So uh, there can be improved efficacy even years down the line. This newest device also has capability recording brain electrical waves. So besides patient telling us when he had seizure or aura, we can also check on device what was happening at the time in the brain. One of the hopes uh, for the DBS is that it will help control his seizures to the point that we can turn the VNS down. Um, you know, obviously the miracle outcome would be, you know, that he could come off of meds and we could turn the VNS off. Realistically, if we could cut down on the load of anti-seizure meds that he's on and we could turn the VNS down to a point that it's controlling um, the side effects of the anti-seizure meds and he doesn't have hiccups and he can speak normally, that would be great. All right. Surprising number of things that you 
can't do it in society if you have active seizures. But you learn about if you live in a farming community. I'm hoping that it will control them enough that I suppose it's not that I uh, get back the time that was wasted because of all this, but I can at least do the things I've always spent time wanting to do.